can you teach your body emotionally what it would feel like if you if you arrived at your future and and can you say i'm not going to get up until i feel that way now this is mm. this is good work here because you'll have to come up with that emotion and get beyond the shame the guilt the unworthiness the pain the suffering and this is battle this is battle because your brain is going to keep going to something that's going to want to make you feel that way. Then the analytical mind is going to say, you can't do this, it's too hard, why don't you quit? And that's where everybody stops. But right on the other side of that is love. Mm. Right on the other side of that is gratitude. Right on the other side of that is freedom, right? So then if the person's willing to go a little further and practice a way to do that, and they could get in touch with that emotion, and they can feel it. And when I feel it, I always say, and usually when it's really good, I say, remember this feeling, memorize this feeling, memorize. I want to- Make a I, snapshot of that feeling. I want to I want to know, I want to be able to bring this feeling up on command, so I'll let it go, mm. and then I'll go back and say, let me see if I can do it again. Why am I trying to do it again? To remember, remembering is creating the circuitry to be able to produce it again. It's gonna become a skill. Now, I have something to walk into my condition in my life where I'm reacting, and now I have a plan. I've primed my brain and body to the future instead of the past. I've suppressed the past. Yeah. So now I have, I'm, I'm closing my eyes, disconnecting from the environment, overcoming my body, not thinking about the predictable future, the familiar past and time. I'm in the present moment. I'm ready to create. Why? Because I want to present myself to the world as an evolved version of yesterday. Real quick, before you go to the next, I hear a lot of therapists will mention we should not suppress emotions. I'm hearing you mention just there suppressing the past. No, I would never say suppress. I would say, at what point are you done feeling that emotion? Gotcha. You want to so keep feeling feel it? it go, if, if you're not doing off. anything wrong. You're just yeah, taking yeah. too long. I mean, gotcha, like, gotcha. I, I, I'm not going to tell you to not feel emotion. I feel emotions, but again, I'm just going to move through them. I'm a super passionate person. And if I'm yeah. going in, I'm going all in. I'm not going half, halfway. But when I feel and I can catch myself, that's pretty cool. Gotcha. Because yes. now I can change it. No one, no one or nothing is doing that to me. I'll feel it. I'm not sitting there going, I'm not doing that. I'm not, there's no tool set there. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm steeping in the emotion. That's not it. I am saying, okay, I'm angry. In, the, in this moment in eternity, Joe Dispenza, what do you got? What do you got? This is the moment you're gonna remember because mm -hmm. people who heal, people who have transcendental moments, people who break through, people who have the, the wealth, the freedom, when they look back at their life and they see all the days they chose themselves to show up for their meditation, mm. when they look back at those past moments, they're not looking back at the easy meditations. Mm -hmm. They're not falling in love with the person who had the good med, they're, they're falling in love with the person who sat in the fire. They're, they're, they remember those moments where they were like, he didn't give up on me, I believed in myself, I believed there was something on the other side of this feeling. I stuck with it. And all of a sudden it starts to change. And for some people it takes a little longer than others, but they're on it. Mm -hmm. And so then when they look back at their past and they see all those times it was hard, and they, they went a little further, they're gonna fall in love with that yeah. person. And now their future self, who's already transformed, is drawing their past self to them in love. There's, that's, how, that's how reality so is. So our, our future self in the future or our, no, there, in the moment? No, there's a future you right. that's already exists. You just gotta get there. Right. And he's, he's in love with you. And the mm. only way you're gonna get there is by you being in love with and you. And being in love in the past. Yeah, but so then what is love then? So then huh. people think they confuse love with pleasure. Yes. Like a manicure or shopping spree, that's not love, that's pleasure. Mm -hmm. and, and the more whole we are, the less need for pleasure we have. You sit in the fire. I watched 1,025 people last week transform themselves. Mm. In the beginning, I was trying to find the door. I, they were, they were, I was bouncing off them, I just wouldn't quit. And then they started doing the work. They came up against themselves, they got frustrated, they got impatient, I kept reminding them, their brain's going into high beta, their arousal is driving them further out of balance, and they started tempering the animal. And they started, I took them a little further and they sat through the fire, and all of a sudden it wasn't about the mystical experience, it wasn't about the wealth, it was about learning the formula. It wasn't about what they wanted. It was about overcoming themselves, they're learning the formula on how in that moment, if they could just relax and keep practicing, that little box begins to expand and now there's more, more, more room for them to relax in the unknown. I stretched them outside of the known and they survived. And I keep stretching them and all of a sudden, they're more present. And so they wanted, they wanted to come to the edge 
in the next meditation and go a little further. It was no longer me saying you gotta go. They were, they wanted the edge. They wanted to see what was standing in the way between them and their new relationship, mm -hmm. them and their healing. What, what was that thing that I wanna remove? I'm gonna, if not now, when, right? So they wanted to take it on because they, they forgot about their cell phones. We did it during the week of election, so nobody would care about us. They, they didn't <laughs> care about the election. They didn't care about wow. any disease. They were immersed and, and they retreated from their lives. Now, back to your question. I guarantee you those people, when they face circumstances in their life now, they're ready for their environment. Mm -hmm. In fact, they've lowered the volume to so many of those emotions. When people slash out at them or do things, they're gonna go, oh, come here. Are you hurting? Get over here, right, I'll give right. you a hug. Not like, oh, you know, they're not gonna do that. They're gonna be like, come here, I love you. Get over here, yeah. are you okay? It's just, they're not, there's not that anymore. They, they, they kinda, they, they're kinda ready. So, mm. so the formula then, to answer your question, <laughs> is brain and heart coherence. And when you're in stress and you're in survival, when you're in danger, the arousal of the stress hormones creates a heighten, heightening of our senses and we become materialists and we narrow our focus on the material world and that's reality now. And when we start trying to control reality and predict it, and we have the perception that things are getting worse, all of a sudden we're shifting our attention to one person, to another person, to another problem, to another thing, to another text. And every one of those things, there's a neurological network in the brain. So the arousal of the stress hormones causes the brain to start firing incoherently. And now there's no energy in the brain because the incoherence is diminishing energy. It's waves that are canceling each other out. The brain goes into like this, quiescence of no activity but we're very little very little performance so then we said okay let's teach people how to take their attention off of everything known in this memory bank of the known self the autobiographical self the artifact of the past mm. let's teach them how to go from a narrow object focus on anything material that's known in this three-dimensional reality to broadening their focus mm. to putting their attention on energy, nothing, space, and going from a convergent focus to a divergent focus and opening their focus, we started noticing that the brain started to synchronize. The different compartments started to unify and the brain started functioning in a more holistic state and the person started feeling more chilled, more poised, more clear. And what sinks in the brain mm. links in the brain. Mm. So you start seeing this kind of integration. And we can call people on the stage now and I can say, would you show the audience on a brain scan how to go in the gamma? Give me one second. Boom, they go right in the gamma. Wow. Can you show them how to go in the alpha coherent brainwave patterns? I can, give me a minute. It's alpha uh, like negative that, state or? Alpha is like that creative state. Oh, when, creative the, when, state. The, when the brain starts slowing down analytical you know, oh, processing. Okay. So gamma then, is what? It's like super consciousness. That's like, that's the, like the, that's the big stuff. 